All right, so I need to pressure test this motorcycle gas tank that I made. And one of the first steps in doing that is sealing off all the little holes in the gas tank. This is where the fuel pump and everything goes in. This guy here goes in there. But we need to seal this up to do our pressure test. And I also want to make, this is where I'm going to add the air into the tank. So I need like a little hole in there so that I can supply air into the tank and fill it up and pressurize it. So to do that, first I've got these four little studs here. I'm going to measure these guys out from center to center is more like four inches. Four inches apart at 90 degree angles, whatever. And I'm going to trace that out on some paper here, some cardboard. I'll make a dot here, one dot, one dot. And then I'll measure out four inches here. Mark another dot, two dots. And I'm going to connect these dots. Dots are connected. Now we want 90 degrees to that. So first we need to find the center of this. So I need two inches. Marked out at two inches right there. All right, I'm gonna use this as my 90. So I got the end of it here. Better line this up, put that right on the line. And then I should have 90 coming off of that. And then I end up with that. With my two at the center and then measure off four inches. So there, we should have a pattern now. So there's, I need to make a hole there, a hole up here, a hole there, and a hole there. And then it should fit on top of that gas tank. Let's go ahead and make my little hole up here. There's one hole. We got four holes now. Let's see if it lines up on here. It does. So now we can transfer this onto a piece of metal. All right, so I just made this little piece here, welded that thing onto this thing, and so now we've got a piece that will span the distance that we needed to span, which is this guy here, so that it'll fit on there. I already did drill one hole there. So we can go ahead and line that one up. We'll go ahead and mark the other ones. So there's our other ones marked. We got one there, one here, one down here. Now I'm going to drill these out. I'm going to mark them with my center punch. And we'll drill those out. All right, so there are holes drilled, all four of them. Bam, here's our gas tank. And then these should fit on here now. Just like that, bam-o. And then I just need a big piece of rubber. Basically at this point, stick underneath here. That is in that circle form. And I can sandwich down on there and just screw that down and then that will put pressure on there. And I also need to drill a hole through here as well. All right, so I've got my hole in the center now. That is designed to fit this guy, which is just a little nipple for the thing, air fitting. That goes in there like that. Another one, this is the female end. This is the male end. So I can stick that through there and thread this one on the other side. And just put a little O-ring in between there. And blammo, we've got a nice little connection there where I can pump air to the tank that way. And now I've got some, this is like rubber floor mat for like horse stalls and stuff. Go ahead and cut, a, cut out a piece of this, a little round piece that will and There's that guy who used the step drill bit to do that. All right, putting it all together now, we've got our tank. Got a little O-ring that we made. We got a cover. I'm going to put the O-ring on the back side of this cover. We've got a little nipple with an O-ring. Big O-ring assortment kit here. Got that from. Here we go with the O-ring. That goes up in there like that. We got our other side like this. Hook those together. And then, so we'll take this guy, put it over the top like that. Let's stick this on here. Got our nuts for this guy. I flip this over, 
We've got our other hole right here for the filler hole. We've got a cap that goes on there. We've got two O-rings. We've got an O-ring that is a solid one. Now we should be able to pump some air in there. When we come over to the air compressor. I've got a regulator right here. I can turn this thing down. Don't need much air pressure at all, so I'm really going to just minimum air pressure. So, turn this guy. Now we got soapy water. Let's see what happens here. I have a feeling, yeah. There's a little bit of air right there. So yeah, you can see how it's bubbling up. This is not what you want. There's a little volcano that's going on here. So I brush this aside. That bubbles up when you spray it. This goes crazy. So I'm gonna mark these things and then we'll have to go back through and rebraze this whole section here and see if we can clean this up. So after about four sessions of soapy water followed by brazing, we finally got this thing airtight. Yes! So this is my second time messing around with a gas thing like this where I have to weld it and then seal it and leak test it and all that stuff. And one thing I have learned is that you don't have to, I mean, this isn't ideal, but you don't have to get everything exactly airtight. Something you can, if you have little, little teeny tiny holes in there and even bigger holes, you can, you can actually seal those things up in the second phase of gas tank sort of fabrication, which is the sealing part that you seal the inside of the tank. And that stuff can, can cover up a lot of mistakes. Um, it's not ideal. You want ideally to have this thing welded up just perfectly. But if you're super frustrated and this is your first time trying to seal up a gas tank, get it to a, the best you can and then just seal the inside of it and you can have a functional gas tank that way. That's just one tip. It's not a pro tip. That's an amateur tip for sure there, but something to think about. It might save you, you know, from throwing a gas tank away or something like that. So anyways, what I'm using on my next, the next video uh, on this gas tank, we're going to do some gas tank sealer, which I'm going to use in this POR 15 is what I'm going to try. I have not used this before. I use, uh, I think some stuff called cream on the last gas tank and that worked great. But this is also supposed to be good stuff, and so we're gonna try this out next. There's a whole, there's like a three-step process to that. Pretty easy to do, but we'll do that in the next video just to show you what I'm doing on this thing. And uh, that's it, man. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.